Hey everyone, a few weeks ago I did a video here on the Elgoo Saturn 4 Ultra and how it's the easiest resin 3D printer that I have ever used. And today we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Elgoo Saturn 4, which is the more affordable version of the 4 Ultra and talking about exactly what the differences are between these two machines. And I'll be showing you some of the things that I've 3D printed with the Saturn 4. Now there are a lot of similarities between these two resin 3D printers from Elgoo. And in fact, there are some of the exact same components being used on both of these machines. However, there are definitely some things that differentiate the Ultra from the standard Saturn 4. Both of the printers are sporting the new flip top lid design here. I honestly wish there was a handle on those. I'll talk about that here in just a few minutes. Both of these are sporting the auto bed leveling function. So you no longer need to level your beds when it comes to setting up your resin 3D printer. You're essentially just gonna take this thing out of the box, remove some film, like plug it in and put it in the build plate and you're ready to start printing. Both are also using this new latch design that I'm really enjoying. It just locks everything in place. It's no longer that ball joint design that they had on the previous Saturns. And the vats are the exact same between both of these. That also includes the dual pour spouts on either end of the vat, which I think is extremely helpful when it comes to actually removing the resin from your vats after you're done printing. Both the Saturn 4 and the 4 Ultra have a 12K monoscreen display and have the same build volume of 218 by 122 by 220 millimeters. They're also both using the COB and Fresnel displays and they have tempered glass tops. They're also both sporting that vertical display. Now there is a different UI between the two printers. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, I know that there's different functionality on the Saturn 4 Ultra versus the Saturn 4. However, I would have assumed they would have had the exact same UI between them and just certain functions hidden. But for whatever reason, we have a different UI between the two machines. Now where the big differences are between the Ultra versus the standard 4 is how this actual machine operates and some of its functionality. The Saturn IV Ultra, its big flagship feature isn't just the auto bed leveling, it's that tilting vat mechanism that allows it to print so incredibly quick and helps really simplify the process of slicing your files because you're not having to deal with lift speeds and all that other stuff. On the Saturn IV, this is your traditional resin Elegoo Saturn experience. It's not gonna have the tilting vat, it's gonna have the vat that lifts up and down as you're printing, so it's gonna be slightly slower print speed than what we're seeing on the 4 Ultra. However, it's still that reliable Elegoo Saturn experience. I should also have mentioned that both of these have smart sensors built into the printers that are gonna help detect if there's enough resin in the printer, if there's too much resin in the printer, if there's debris in the printer. So uh, before you start a print, if maybe there are supports in the vat, it'll detect that and won't start the print to help prevent any further damage from happening when starting up your print. The Saturn 4 Ultra also has a camera for you to remote monitor your prints in Chitu box or in your other slicers and it can create time lapses for you. The standard 4 does not have a camera. The 4 Ultra also has Wi-Fi so that you can wirelessly transfer your files from your slicer directly to the printer and monitor your prints remotely. The 4 does not have that. You'll just have to load up everything on the USB and plug it in just like you normally would with your previous Saturn printers. The Saturn 4 also has power loss resume where the Saturn 4 does not. And the Saturn 4 Ultra unfortunately is the only one that comes with this drip tray. Now, this drip tray is there specifically to help prevent resin from dripping down inside the vat area where the, the tilting mechanism is when you're removing your prints. However, this does fit on the Saturn 4, and I so wish this came on the standard Saturn 4. I've gotten so used to working with this with the Saturn 4 Ultra, and I absolutely love it. It would be such an amazing thing to see this offered separately online on Elegoo's site that you could order and then add it onto your Saturn 4. It's just a great add-on that helps reduce a lot of the mess when taking your prints off the printer. And the last difference between the two machines is that the Saturn 4 Ultra has a built-in exposure tester function that the Saturn 4 does not. And I so so, so wish the Saturn 4 had that on there. Honestly, moving forward after working with this on this machine and it being available on a few other machines that are out there, I really think that moving forward, all resin 3, like every resin 3D printer that comes out needs to have a built-in exposure finder setting directly on the printer. It just makes exposure testing so 
much easier to be able to set that and not have to re-slice multiple prints and run multiple individual prints. You basically just want to run one print and can test a variety of different settings. Also, I know it's going to come up in the comments. Both of these machines do not have a heater, but Elegoo does offer a heater add-on option. I do not have that yet. Once I have it on hand, I'll definitely be showing that off because in the winter months here, it gets so cold and having a built-in heater would be very nice. Oh, and the biggest difference that I think everyone's most interested in is the pricing. The Saturn 4 Ultra comes in at $400, and then the Saturn 4 is $300. That is insane to me, a price point of $300, auto leveling, you're gonna get fantastic prints with a 12K display, and it prints pretty fast. Not as fast as the 4 Ultra, but pretty dang fast. And it's gonna be a nice, reliable Elegoo resin 3D printer. Wasn't the original Saturn like $500 when it first came out? $300 for the latest and greatest. That's just nuts. And before we take a look at some of the things that I printed with the Saturn 4, I want to say a big thank you to Elegoo for sponsoring today's video. They are the makers of this Elegoo Saturn 4 resin 3D printer and the Saturn 4 Ultra. These are amazing mid-size resin 3D printers that are just going to print absolutely spectacular for you, whether it's miniatures or figurines or statues. You really can't beat some of the resin 3D printers that Elegoo is making. And if you're interested in more information about any of Elegoo's products, you'll find links to those down below. So the first thing that I went off and printed are some miniatures by Loot Studios, one of my favorites. So these are 32 millimeter scale miniatures. These took three hours and I think 50 minutes for these to print. Uh, some are slightly taller than the others, which I think is what it caused it to print slightly longer than I was expecting here for this. But the print quality as expected with these on that 12K mono screen display is looking really crispy and good with the details. I always have the hardest time capturing the detail on screen of these, but they look fantastic in person here. Now, I was also dialing in some of my settings and playing around with things and tried to print those again, but at the larger 75 millimeter scale. And this took, I think, five and a half hours or closer to six hours to print these two larger scale versions of the same miniatures that I printed previously. I mean, there's not much that I haven't said already when it comes to Elegoo and these resin 3D printers. The Saturn lineup is just fantastic for printing things like miniatures and figurines. If I'm showing off a new resin 3D printer, you know I'm gonna be 3D printing some busts from Photos Mint. This first one was actually designed by Dante Zuck, which is the, I believe, the brother of Charo Zuck that does all of the supports for Photos Mint and a bunch of other folks that are out there. And this is a super clean looking resin 3D printed bust. Lots of smooth angles, so I was really interested to see how this would print and if we'd see any of the layer lines, uh, you know, just right off the bat without zooming in and looking for specific spots, I can't see anything with my naked eye. When Photos does Lord of the Rings stuff, it's always a special treat. This is the mouth of Sauron. Sauron? Sauron? Sauron. Creepy looking character that we saw in, I think, a, a cut scene from the film there that we saw, I've seen on YouTube. Again, just all the details are coming through nice, sharp, and clean off of this print. I'm really impressed with this, and in fact, I kinda wanna do this a lot bigger. And finally, I think I have my new favorite miniature file to print, and this comes from Witch Song, and it is this crazy looking knight with an absolutely enormous ax hanging in air. Like, it just is such an awesome file to run off and print. You can print it all in one part, like I did here on the Saturn IV, or it's broken up into smaller pieces, and if you really want to, you can scale it up even larger and print it, which is exactly what I did here. Now, I actually printed this, part of this on the Saturn IV and part of this on the Saturn IV Ultra, just to help illustrate how fast the IV Ultra prints. The Saturn IV prints pretty fast, like it's it's a decent print speed. It's, it's not the fastest, it's not the slowest, but the Saturn IV Ultra right out the box just prints so unbelievably fast. Just look at the difference between these two prints, the like the print sizes of them, how much vertical build volume the Saturn IV Ultra took up versus the Saturn IV for this statue and how much faster it was able to print right out of the box. Now this is a sponsored video, so please don't take this as a review of the Saturn IV. That said, I do wish that the Saturn IV came with a drip tray. Again, just a really small detail that would have taken this to the next level here. And the other big one for me is I really wish this had the exposure finder built into it or the exposure tester built into this. Uh, I don't know if that's something that Elegoo can update with the firmware. Oh, which by the way, this does not have the ability to do automatic firmware updates like the Saturn IV Ultra because the Saturn IV Ultra is connected to the internet and just will automatically get updates whenever they're available. This one, you're 
you're gonna have to reach out to Elegoo's website, download the firmware updates and install them manually. And the only other minor gripe that I have is that there's no handle on this. It's easy enough to lift up the lid. It's not like it's hard to lift up. I just know that over time, I'm gonna end up gunking up the sides by touching it with resin. The Saturn IV having those sensors and the auto bed leveling and coming in at $300 is gonna be a really hard deal to beat. However, if you have an extra $100 to spare, I would 100% recommend the Saturn IV Ultra with its crazy fast print speeds and its really simplistic way of slicing files and getting things up and printing. I also wanna take a minute to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. If you're interested in things like my resin three printer settings for the Saturn IV Ultra or the Saturn IV, you can find those over in my Patreon. And let me know what your thoughts are on the Saturn IV or the IV Ultra. What, what's missing from these 3D printers that should be added in next year's iteration of these? Hey, thanks so much for watching you all. I'll see you next time.